where you are, where exactly you are within the, within the same community largely depends, largely defines what is your exposure. So I'm, I'm introducing the first component of human vulnerability, exposure. The second component is sensitivity. We are sensitive to exactly the same impacts of climate change in very different ways, depending on our age, depending on our gender, health, wellness, race, fitness, mobility, occupation and lifestyle. So something to brainstorm perhaps in your classroom with your students. You know, we might be all experiencing the same exposure. We might be all living in the same part of the city, which is experiencing exactly the same flood or exactly the same heat wave. But depending on your age or depending on uh, your fitness or depending on your uh, gender, these could be very different experiences in terms of your uh, predisposition to the cardiovascular diseases, uh, to heat strokes, uh, to your ability to evacuate uh, during the flood and so on. And finally, I want to take us from there to the um, third dimension of uh, vulnerability, which is adaptive capacity. And adaptive capacity essentially means all the assets, all the uh, resources that we have, either at the individual level or at the community level, uh, that we can use to cope with the impact, to avoid the impact, to be resilient to it, and to adapt. And so this can be anything from access to information, knowing what is your evacuation plan, uh, having education, having access to transportation, having access to insurance, having access to money, having access to um, other resources. So again, the same exposure to flood might have very different consequences for one person just checking in into the hotel and driving away in their vehicle. For others, uh, relying on shelters and um, uh, evacuation uh, provided by the community.